For nine years, a small band of scientists labored in a remote Scottish research station. Injecting genes into sheep embryos, they were looking for new sources of human medicine. Work was tedious and unrewarding, until... Astounding! We'll want to know about this. It's the first step to making new drugs that are tailor-made for people. It could save lives and make money. Better be careful, though. I don't want people to get the wrong idea. Once the cat's out of the bag, who knows what will be waiting at that doorstep? What on earth can I do? Perhaps I can help you with a little PR. If you're looking for something new this season, why not check out Donna? Her vital statistics? Well, she has no father, but is genetically identical to one of her two mothers. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Dolly is a clone. So, what's her secret recipe? Well, we simply took a cell from one mother, pulled out the DNA, popped it into an egg cell of her other mother, Planted it into the womb. And hey presto, we had Dolly. Oh look everyone, here's their designer, Ian Wilmot. Hello. The PR company knew how much the sheep meant to us, so they didn't want the press to trash it out of hand. The first thing they said was, give the sheep a name. People like a name, so we call her Dolly. <coughs> Within days, the story broke, and Dolly was on the front page of every newspaper in the world. Dr Wilmot, why did you do it? Make Dolly? Well, cloning is really a means to an end. One day, we could genetically alter sheep to make human medicines in their milk. If we could clone animals routinely, we could make whole herds of life-saving animals like this. People have so much to gain from this. I had to find a way to sell it to the press. 